Right now, millions of Americans are preparing for a major astronomical event, including a lot of Minnesotans. We're talking about the upcoming solar eclipse, of course. It is the first of its kind since 2017, and it'll happen on Monday. Yeah, some Minnesotans are traveling thousands of miles to see this phenomenon, while others plan to make the most of it right here at home. Our Maury Glover joining us now with more on all of the viewing options, and this is going to be a fun one to see across the country, Maury. That's right. One local museum official is calling this solar eclipse a rare and elusive event. And while many Minnesotans will watch it at home, others are hitting the road. It's always um, uh, great seeing a, a rare astronomical event like this. Watching a total solar eclipse is often a once in a lifetime experience. But Merle Hiltner is hoping his second stellar adventure is twice as nice. Things are coming together. Uh, we're, um, we got all the planning done. Now it's just a matter of uh, uh, waiting and hoping for the best and uh, uh, implementing the contingency plans if, um, if we need to. So. Hiltner is one of several members of the Minnesota Astronomical Society who are meeting up in Texas to be in the path of totality when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun on Monday. The amateur astronomer says he traveled to Nebraska to see the last eclipse in 2017 and was so moved by the celestial event, he drove even further this time, 16 hours, to do it again. You want to experience it because um, seeing pictures, seeing video, just doesn't do it justice. Officials at the Bell Museum at the University of Minnesota say the moon is only expected to block about 75% of the sun here in the metro. They say Minnesotans who don't want to travel can watch the action through one of their solar telescopes or buy glasses with special filters to avoid permanently damaging their eyes by looking directly at the sun. I think the easiest thing to do is to go outside and look up. Take some time out of your day, head outside, and look up at the sun. Hiltner expects another mad dash at the end to find clear skies. But being back in the shadow of the moon would make it all worthwhile. Even if it's um, overcast and we get shut out, um, it's it's better to um, uh, to try it. Um, you know, I regret I regret things that I don't do more than you know giving this a try. Now the Bell and Science Museums will host <laughs> viewing parties on Monday till some state parks, but uh, this will all, of course, depend on the weather. And these glasses not only protect your eyes, but they're pretty stylish. You're like Star as well. Trek yes, right now. there you go. I can't see a thing. You were right here the whole time. I didn't even <laughs> see right. you until you showed up. Oh That's my right. goodness. That's right. Love it. Absolutely Maury, love it. Love Maury. <laughs> so pick up a pair. Yes. No kidding. You don't want to hurt your eyes. That's right. So oh, you take those Maury. off before you walk out. Of okay. Here. I know, I'll still more around. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs>